Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to take a close look at the Legend of Zelda Parallel Worlds. This is a homebrew version for the Super Nintendo. And we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing. Um, multi card collector, borrow me this so I can check it out for the channel. So let's take a close look at this. I'm going to remove this plastic sleeve and uh, let's see how is the quality. Oh, there is so much fun removing these. Alright, so ever to be honest, um, the the paper they are used is very thin. This is not to be compared with an original game. Again, it's basically a homebrew game, so Nintendo never released it. But if you look at let's say the quality of the box itself, I don't know what is up. The quality of the print, you can see it maybe on the camera, is a little bit different. The picture itself it's not bad at all, as you can see here. The text here is very clear. I really like it. It's very big of details, it even has this little barcode <laughs> that says official game box, pretty funny. But to be honest, I don't know what kind of cardboard or paper they're using from your original box, but still this has this very weird cheap feeling. Alright, so let's open it up, let's see what's inside. Alright, so what I really like about this is that it has an inlay and of course the game card itself and it even comes with a booklet so that's pretty cool all right so let's take a close look at the booklet itself hmm, very thick paper yeah you can see i know you can see it in the camera but you can see some color differences so mm, the print quality again don't get me wrong i really like what they're doing here but if you want to do it right just do it good so let's see what we have more. I really like this. This is very cool. That it shows this controller. And here we have some basic explanations. So it's really cool that they give you this manual. Gives this really collectible feeling. Yeah, that looks very nice. That looks very cool. Now here we have all the items. The paper itself. Mm. Mm. It's good paper that they are using. And the print quality is a little bit better over here. Okay, let's see what we have more. Some more explanation. Life and magic. Menu. Saving. And even for the note. Or the notes. And here you can see it again. This little thing that is going on here. It's a little bit of a bummer. Yeah, I'm a little bit picky about it. Let's see, is this the last page? And they are using very big and thick paper for this one. No, looks very nice. All right, so let's take a close look at the inlay and the card itself. The inlay, I think you can still buy it nowadays and they're using very thick cardboard. It's not bad at all. So they have used an original Famicom, well, Famicom card. So that's pretty cool they're using it because the original had a very good weight to it. And if you turn it around, you can see here it got the original Nintendo decal and the information of the Super Famicom card. I think that they're using this is very cool. Okay, let's take a close look at the label itself. It's glossy. It's very good high quality. So that is something, yeah, it's very cool. All right, so I think it's ready to play some Zelda and let's see what we're going to get. All right, let's go. Alright, so to begin with, and this is something I need to point out again, this is not an official released game. So this has nothing to do with the official Legend of Zelda series. It's basically a fan overhaul of the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. This is using new graphics, new music, new overworld, new underworld and a new storyline. It is for the SNES age of 2008. 
The game has been in production for around four up to five years. Can be a little longer and maybe some of these hack games depend a little bit which version the cartridge contains have a little revision or a patch. Parallel Worlds was originally released by an editor by the name of Ryuk Lit. I'm hoping to say this correctly. As a short demo around 2004 under the name The Tower of the Triforce. The setup of the story are essentially the same, but the game still uses the original SNES graphics. They did, again what I already mentioned, some slight small differences to bring new life to this game and give you this totally new experience. They changed some little things, for example Chain Link's outfit and hair color. The first version was released in December of 2006 and has become known of one of the hardest fan games out there. But with the upcoming years, they released many new versions that fixed a lot of problems, bugs, spelling errors, and to make this game basically like an original Nintendo game. But then overall, this game, there is a lot of fan base and a lot of things that happened. But in 2012, a new version of the hack was released by Puzzle Dude. And what I understand, this is the version that is on this cartridge named Parallel Remodel. He lowered the difficulty of the game because it was very high and very difficult and a lot of people had some criticism about it so he changed it and did some redesigning of the game. So enough chit chat about all of this. Let's enjoy a little bit of gameplay of the game. Alright, so that concludes this video. I just wanted to do this short unboxing and explaining what it is. I hope you have a better idea what you are going to get if you are finding this cartridge. So keep in mind, this is not an official Nintendo game, this is a homebrew game. I can really appreciate it that people are doing this effort of making homebrew games and putting them in a real game. Because that's basically what they did. Really cool. And if you are a big Zelda collector, I think this is something you really need to try out if you find it for a good price. Let me know what you think of this. We'd love to know. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell. And if you like video games, if you like retro games, don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel. See you next time. Bye. Bye.